Hey, how's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to The Messenger. We are at the end of the catacombs with the Necromancer. Necromancer, not Manster. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Oh. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, is the staff talking? What now? We have a visitor. That's gonna be the, the staff's voice. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? This makes it even better. Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. I really should have switched their voices now, actually. Oh, no, he's time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh. Is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. This is amazing. Well, projectiles. Oh, shit. Ah, jeez. Oh, no. I don't like that at all. I wonder if the thing is, I'm afraid to, like, stand on that little platform. Because I don't know if it's going to hurt me. Eh. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Damn it. Then he goes back. Oh, no, he does not. Okay. Ah, shit. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Whew. I like this. It's a cool idea for a boss. And that's when you really have to wail on him. Plus, I do like how he's got the... The bosses all have that cool, um... Like, old-school beat-em-up thing where, like, they start flashing as the closer they come to death. It's a cool idea. Well, got his pattern down. Ugh. And back. Yeah, you can't get him up there. There's no, uh, nothing to grab onto or climb with. Okay, shit. Shit. Come back. I have fights for you. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. He doesn't seem to get faster with his shots either, though. Just kind of funny to think he would. There we go. Easy enough. Sorry, Ruxton. Dungeon Brawler. That's the trophy. <laughs> I yield. Wait, I don't. That's not my voice. <laughs> It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions, then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you around? Well, I could. That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. That was easy. So what's he going to do with his life? Talk to him. Carry on, Mr. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. That would be crazy if that actually killed him. That would have like, changed something. Oh, nice. We get to leave the catacombs. Catacombs. Bamboo Creek. Cool. Ooh, very cool. Wow, this is very NES looking. Like, other than just the smoothness of, like, the sword strikes and stuff, this is super believable as a, um... Shit. Ah! As a, um, uh, an NES level. It really looks like it could be legit. Nice. A lot of these, um, turtleoid kind of enemies. I don't know. Again, probably some, like, Japanese lore thing that I don't know. I mean, makes sense. I don't know much about Japanese lore, to be honest. Yoink! Oh, and the water's pushing me to the right. Cool. Probably be some platformy puzzles for that. Shit. Oh, I can't that didn't hit me. What is this? Oh, cool. Yeah, time switches. That uh, makes sense. New area, which means new chatting. Maybe even a new story. Current area. Bamboo Creek. That must be a sight for sore eyes after you, your trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is as close to a day off as you'll get in, on in this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. 
I guess it says more about your mindset than about the world. How about time shards? Okay. What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. This guy's voice is getting to my throat, to be really honest. <laughs> They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You collect what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. Any stories to share? Of course I do, but now is not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sunny as it gets in this here cursed world. So? So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Bye now. God, I love this guy. Uh, we need 400 time shards in order to get the, um... The thing that lowers, um, Quarble's... More of these. Uh, lowers Quarble's, uh, payment when I die. I've only died the one time and it was actually on purpose. Damn it. But I'm going to die. It's just going to happen, so... While all that's happening, I might as well prepare. So I don't have to pay him too much. But I said I needed 400 for it. Yeah, 367. I'm almost there. By the time I get to the next uh, door, I'll have enough. At least it's just fun to go around hitting things. But to be honest, that does make a big difference in these types of games. Oh, it just opens it again, so I can go backwards. Ow. <laughs> How do I get hit by the, like, the zombie guys that do nothing? Okay, no, that makes sense why I got hit. Oh, jeez, you're terrifying. Basically the Medusas from Castlevania games. I wonder if they have the equivalent of the birds from the Ninja Gaiden games. I hope not. They're the worst. Oh, do I bring that up? Yes, I do. Oh, cool. Can I go up with it? Interesting. Oh, shit. How do I keep getting hit by these guys? Oh, careful here. Good, good stuff. Five more. Three more, or two more, I mean. No more. We're good. Alright, careful. Oh, can I go up here? Nice. Oh, God! Oh, God, you're an enemy. I don't like you. Oh, shit. I can't defeat him, it looks like, but I can run by him. Yeah, can't do anything here. Am I in the right place? I this is a secret, but this is long. I mean, I wonder if the game just gets more open world now. Anything up here? Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so satisfying. The explosions get bigger. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I can't do anything here. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe I need some upgrades or something before I can do anything over here. Yeah, it looks like it brings you to a whole new style of area, so I guess I'll head back. God, the soundtrack is so good. Whee! Oh, it looks like I was going the right way. I don't know why, I thought that was a, a secret area going upwards. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Um, Alright, let's get this quarrel thing. Devil's do. Nice. Losing weight, gaining... I don't know what it says. Time shards, maybe? I have no idea. It's a problem when you make your trophy names so long, you can't read them in the middle of the game. It's not like I'm going to stop playing to check it out. Dang it, Phil, really? Eh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was close. Um, duck. Alright, good enough. Hmm. Whoops, oh shit. Oh god. Well, death might come for me a lot faster than I... Oh good. Whew. They put those in really good areas. <laughs> Oh, dang. Why'd that work? Oh! I I thought I was just hitting the head, but I need to hit specifically the little heart. You're not paying attention. 
Oh, I think I know what happened. So for some reason, I'm playing my PS4 on my upstairs TV and recording, and this looks like a tunnel. It cuts off. I should probably just, you know, recalibrate where the, the stuff appears, but, um... I already noticed from the first episode that it, it appears correctly in post-production. So it's recording properly, but for some reason it's not displaying on my TV super properly. So it must have been a wall. I must look really stupid. People have been like, what is Phil talking about? Damn, Phil. There we go. Get him out of the way. The enemies come back, too, after, um... Shit, after they leave the screen. Or, you know what I mean? They, get, they can get respawned, basically. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> at least I caught it. <laughs> um, hmm. There we go. Wouldn't mind some health though. Getting kind of low. Oh, well, oh, whatever. left. Oh, good. At least a save point. Better than nothing. Ooh, I get some health back from that, too. Or I, I might have picked up a thing. 155. I need 200 for the next upgrade that I want. Which is, um, enemies drop, can drop life or, um, key. Is it key? I don't know, Ninpo? Whatever it is. The game's definitely getting harder, and most of it's uh, just because of really smart enemy placement and fun platforming challenges. Which is definitely the way to go. Oof. Uh, how do I time this? Okay, there we go. Whew! Oh no. Ugh. Ah! Frig! Oh, wow. Like, graze the end there. Ah. If someone's watching you pretend there was input lag, it's true. There was a crazy amount of input lag there. I'm just joking. There was not. <laughs> well, he's gonna follow me around, but at least his, um, his fee is less now. That was... Wow. Oh, wait, how much life do I have? Oh, I, I don't even come back with full life. Welp, that sucked. There we go. Alright, hurry up and steal my gold, you jerk. Okay, let's try to get this again. Nice, okay, cool. We can do this. Wow, got smooshed. Oh, he's writing it down. Damn you, Quarble. Four deaths prevented. Quarble MVP. Thanks, man. He is definitely keeping track of all this. So does, does that mean now that he's going to take, like, four times as much? Or not? I really hope it's not that. Cause that oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really screwing up here. Yep. Damn it! Wow, Phil! Doing good for like the first couple episodes. And then just massively messing up. Oh well. Half the fun. No, I definitely want. Oh, didn't give me health that time. I guess it's semi random, I'm assuming. Whew. Good. Good. Oh, shit. Nope, that's not going to work for me. Damn it. Phil, come on, man. And I'm the type of person who's very stubborn, and I won't stop until I finish that challenge. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll come back later. No, I'm doing this now. I've always been like that with playing games, though. I'm currently playing Darksiders 2 on my spare time, finally. It's been forever, and I 
had yet to play that game. And uh, there's a boss that I'm clearly not supposed to be at yet. But I don't care. I... Oh, that was smart of me to kind of not tempt fate there. Um, yeah, I, I just... I wanted to beat him. So I stayed there. It took me a, a, like an hour or so, but I did it. Yay! It's the third one now, I think? Smash. Cool. Can I go up here? Thank you. Oh, do I skip things by doing that? Come on, give me some help. It's probably just gonna be, bring me to where I was. Yeah, so. Let's continue on. Avoid those gargoyle things, jeez. Oh, hmm. Okay. Oh, that brings it up. Okay. Yeah, so. Pay closer attention, please. How'd that not kill me? Okay. So you could totally make this without using this thing. Because of uh, projectile cloud stepping. Nice, there we go. Finally. Now I feel safer. Holy crap, it's throwing so much at me right now. Nope, I want that lantern. That oh, Carmel's gone. I don't even notice how much he ends up taking from me. Which is good. I mean, it, it's less... It's it's half of what he used to, so it doesn't really matter. Whew, okay. Are we at the boss? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Looking at my timer while pressing left, assuming that I went through the door properly. Oh, wow. The levels are short. So I guess the boss is up next. A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know, perfectly centered gate symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I just thought, wow, this guy straight up took it out of my brain. That's exactly it, too. Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them, but I believe I told you this place was like your day off. So? Well, would you fight a boss on your day off? Exactly. What do you want to chat about? Oh my god, he's... All right, let's upgrade. Let's get some, uh... Enemies will sometimes drop a glow that restores one hit point. Better than nothing. Next will be defense up. Yes. Please. A thousand, though. Jeez. And HP plus one. Yeah, that's, I think, my next one. I'm not using um, my shurikens, my key, very often, so... Probably not gonna worry about that. All right, let's uh, do this. It's a boss. Oh, it's not. Well, I would well, want a boss. No, oh, there's a thing over there. Damn it. Deposit at the riverbank. There's no way I could have made that jump anyways, right? Is there a way to make this jump? Probably. There we go. Um, oh, let's say another try. I doubt it, though. No, not even close. Alright, what do we have in store? Ah, jeez. I get so nervous. Like, I'm used to with Mega Man games where it's like, here's a big drop, and you have to really pay attention to, like, where the spikes are going to be. Oh, here's a boss, I bet. Nope. All right. Howling Grotto. Cool. No boss. I do like how they explain it, too. Oh, wow. Ooh, nice. I like the music. So far, I love this soundtrack. I don't know, people who have really good mastery over the NES style, um... Ugh, things, no, not even close. Oh, new upgrade, though. But, uh, yeah, I have mastery over the NES sound chip. Well, I mean, I know it's not the actual NES sound chip, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, I think his name is Jake Kaufman for, uh, Shovel Knight. Oh, my God. I fell in a pit. That you did. That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make that jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. Some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. Jeez. <laughs> Present old X while airborne to glide. Need anything? Uh, let's chat some more. Current area. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave-dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gliding time. Well, that wingsuit I gave you? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly and you'd rather stay here and chat? 
I love him so much. Any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hopes of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard probably grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you are happy and happy when you are sad? Any guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa, that's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey now, don't push it. <laughs> Aww. Thanks for the wingsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding X while airborne. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out, now isn't there? What do you mean? I mean you should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know uh while letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. Alright. Well, that is it for today. Now we have the wingsuit. Whee! Whoa, awesome. But I'm actually going to go back that place. You know where I'm talking. That was just that. And I'll meet you guys there. So I'm Phil Wings. I'll see you guys next level. You can't. You can't go back. Well, shit. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.